Hello again, this is Dan from DIYWebMarketer.com and today I'd like to talk to you about my favorite subject, graphics. Creating graphics is for me the most enjoyable part of online marketing. I love the creativity and with the tools available today, creating your own graphics is super easy. So I'd like to share with you my favorite tools for creating graphics. But before I do, I'd like to ask that you please subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up so that other online marketers can find our videos. So with that, here are my favorite graphic creation tools. The first graphics option we'll discuss is called Canva. You can sign up for free at canva.com. Once signed up, you log in, you'll get access to lots of great templates and tools that will help you create your own graphics. So let's open the YouTube thumbnail option and see what's available. On the left, we see lots of templates we can use as a starting point, or we can start with a blank canvas. If the template has a gold crown on it, that means it's only available with the paid pro option. So let's open a free template. Everything you see on the canvas can be edited. The text, the images, the background can all be changed. The menu at the top allows us to fine tune our graphic. The side menu has options to add text as well as other elements. We can search for something specific, keeping in mind again that there are free and paid options. When finished, we can save and download our graphic. We can also upload our own images, videos, and audio files to use with our graphics. Additionally, we can search for free images, audio, videos, and backgrounds. If you're just starting out or on a budget, Canva is a great option to make the graphics you need. The next graphic software I want to discuss is one of my very favorites. It's called Uzign. And you can sign up at Uzign.com. They have a free account. It allows you only to create, I think, three graphics. Um, but if you get a full account, then you get access to all of the graphics. And like every other graphic software online, you usually start with a template. They have a whole lot of different template sizes to get you started. You know, Facebook, Twitter, all the social media, web banners, uh, book covers, product covers, infographics. They've got just about everything here to get you started. So like everything else, you just find a, a, a template that looks the size and, and the, roughly the way you want it. And then you can just click on use, give your template a name. You can change the size right here. You can choose in, in, and while you're inside your template, you could change the size. You can do a custom size. So you want to do something for a, a video cover. You can click on any text to change it. I found that to change the color of a text, you need to add the text, change the color, and then edit it. You can change the font. If you want to change the background color, let's see, background color right here. You can change that if you want, or you can uh, find an image. They're integrated with Pixabay, Pexels, Unsplash. You'll be able to find free images here. Just take one and click on it and then bring it in. You can make it the, set it as the background. Get rid of this guy. Let's change our text to maybe white. You can remove the background on an image. Let's see if we can find one here. Let's take this flower. We do this, we can go remove background. If that looks good. We just get done. And it'll bring that flower in without a background that we can resize and move around as we choose. Let's see, we can go 
and look at vectors, we can bring, if we want to look at arrows, um, you've got icons for all kinds of different industries. If you want a button, you can bring a button in, change the text, change the button color. We can put a filter over it if we want. Something that looks good. That looks pretty good right there. I like that. Change this to a red button. And we'll change that background to a yellow. Looks pretty nice. And when we're done, we can save. And we can download. You can upload your own images. If you have an image you want to use, you can upload that. You can use that for uh, logos, whatever you like to add to your image. And when you're done, you just hit save and download it. You can continue to change the size if you like. There's a lots of other options here on Usine. I use it a lot. It also integrates with an awful lot of other software so that you can just um, bring in your Usine designs right into a different software without having to exit and download and bring it back in. So Usine is one of my very favorites. Again, you can sign up for a free account. It limits you to, I think it's three designs. So not very much, but enough to play around with it and see if it's worth investing, uh, see if it's worth investing in for you. Okay, that's it. The last graphic software I want to share with you is my favorite. If you're going to purchase one graphics software program, I recommend Laughing Bird Software. You can get a desktop version of the graphics creator that you install on your PC, or you can get the online graphics creator, which has a lot of the templates that you buy separately already included in it. Not all of them, but most of them. Mark and Lisa are always coming out with new products. Their demonstration videos um, really inspire you to create some in, uh, really, really good graphics. So let me log into the online graphics creator and I'll show you around. <laughs> so once you're logged in, you have a, a, the option of seeing everything or you can look at some designs that Mark has saved or Lisa's designs or you can go into the many different template sets that they offer inside of the web graphics creator. Um, everything from social media to call to actions to logo creators, the scenery creators, a lot of fun. Social media graphics, like I said, e-covers and mock-ups you can do here. Motion graphics are just amazing. People, blog graphics, text effects, certificates, coupons, everything you need, you can get right inside the web graphics creator. So I'm going to go into everything. So once you're inside, you can click on whatever set of graph, uh, whatever set of templates you're interested in. Maybe you want to do an e-cover. You look through, see if there's any designs. Everything is so editable. You're really just looking maybe for a general look and feel, text or whatever, whatever looks uh, appealing to you, just select it. And then you can start editing. Or you can always start with a blank canvas. Let's go with uh, this one here. Again, you can click and drag. Anytime you click on a text, you've got the whole menu opens up for text formatting, text color, you can do shadows, outline, text format, you can pick a Google font, you can align it the way you want, you can change the spacing. If you've got lines like here, you can do the line spacing. You don't have to size your text. Once you type your text in, you can just resize it by clicking and dragging. You can do text shadow. There's a color drop if you want to change the shadow.
color. You can just color drop it here. I want to make it white. The background image. We can delete that if we want. And then we can go into the elements, or let's start with photos and videos. Again, they use pixels, so you can um, search for something. Let's search for money. I like that. Who doesn't like money? And let's do this guy here. Drag it over here. Again, just click and drag. Put it anywhere you want. Edit. Let's send it to the back. Okay. The elements, you've got um, all the elements that are in all of the templates that you can bring in. Design elements, on a banner, call to action, people images, money elements. Let's bring that in over here. There's just so much stuff in here that you'll never want for any other graphic software. And you can upload your own. You can import an image. You can import your own uh, videos to use in here. You can insert um, special text. You can insert shapes. I want a circle. Let's put that here, and then let me shape that color. Let's go maybe a really light green, and then we'll send it backwards. Bring our money roll up here. Actually, let's make that circle black or darker. There you go. And we can resize it, make it smaller. There's really nothing you can't do. You can also do a motion graphic. Take this background out. Then we'll go into the elements and we'll go motion video elements. Um, let's go something. I want to find one that's really. Let's say you got. Um, little ocean here. Let's hear this one's good water. I like this one. Drag this where you want it. Let's send it to the back. Now you click on here and then you record a video or a GIF. A GIF is kind of like an animated Im image. You can put this in on, the, on your blog. You can put it on your header uh, of your website. You can put it in an advertisement. Um, this is really a tremendous. Uh, it's also very fun. A very fun tool. OK, let's go, let's go new design. Let's discard the changes. Select designs. Let's do a scene recreator. Scene recreators are a lot of fun too. Again, you can you can create whatever scene you want. You go into elements, scene recreator, you have backdrops. You want to use this waterfall. Those don't fit too well. Let's see. Let's say I want to do trees. Is there a palm tree? Oh yeah, let's drag a palm tree over here. You've got all kinds of elements that you can use, depending on the image that you want to start with. 
it's a lot of fun to use too. And you could even put in a, let's see if we can find a water, a suitable water here. Put our water back in here. There you go, how does that look? The Web Graphics Creator is not only an amazing program, but it's it's just a lot of fun. I mean, even if you weren't looking to make a graphic for a particular reason, you can get in here and just have such a good time playing around with it. I have so many templates saved, and it's my go-to software for graphics. So I highly recommend the Web Graphics software. Um, go to laughingbirdsoftware.com and check it out. And again, if you're going to invest in one graphic software, this is the one I would invest in. So DIY web marketers, since you're still watching, I assume that you are also interested in creating your own graphics. To see more detailed videos on the tools mentioned in this video, please subscribe to the DIY web marketer YouTube channel and visit my website at DIYWebMarketer.com for more tips and training. Until next time, this is Dan from DIY Web Marketer thanking you for watching.